Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle at 10 a.m. CST. So if any of those interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, you guys. So what I have for you guys today is part two of a full face of wet and wild. So the last time I did it, it was a fail. So I bought some newer products. Um, some more products I am going to try out. I can't remember if I used the foundation stick last time or their original foundation. So I'm gonna use their original foundation because I'm not really a fan of their foundation stick. So yeah. So anyways, we are gonna go ahead and get in with primer. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with their primer serum and their prime focus primer serum. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. If you don't need much of this, maybe like smaller than a dime size amount to get, well, I guess it would depend on how big your face is. <laughs> I have a pretty big face and I don't need any more than a lit light. I don't need any more than like about that much on my hand. So yeah, I don't need very much on my hand. The next one I have is their water drop primer, their coconut primer and this one says revolution re revolutionary cream to water formula hydrates and kicks oh hydrates and locks down moisture blurs the appearance of pores so i used this like a couple times and then i stopped using stopped using it because i really felt like it made me break out so i'm just gonna take just a little bit and that's what it looks like right there okay so that amount is about what i use of the primer serum and we're just gonna use this on our pores and then if i break out then we know that this was breaking me out but I'm not gonna put it all over my face, just on my pores since it does say it helps blur out your pores. Well, my large pores. Really, really like watery, really watery. I feel like I need to do this eyebrow just a little bit. So now going in with brows. Oh, also primer water, sorry. So I have the Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water and we are just gonna go ahead and Spray this. My favorite one of this is actually the rose, and I have a brand new rose one, but I didn't want to open it since this one's open. And actually what I have on my lip right now is their lavender nighttime sleeping mask. That is all done. So like I said, I do have their micro brow pencil, and I got this one in the shade soft brown. I actually ran out of my last one. So I do have the... I do have this one that I used to have. Let me make sure I'm actually out of it before I just start using that new one. Oh, I'm barely making it, y'all. Let me make sure this one's also soft brown. I think it is, it looks similar. Yeah, they're both soft brown. So I did buy soft brown last time as well. Okay, so I'm actually gonna finish using this one. I'm not gonna open the new one. I'm gonna just finish up this old one. Like I have very little left as you can see. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use this one and just try to finish that up. My eyebrow hairs have been growing in so fast. It's not even funny. I'm just gonna blur that line out just a little bit. All right, you guys, I have this, so I'm gonna use it. And this is their brow pomade, and I have mine in the shade Espresso. It's the only shade that they have on ultabeauty.com. And this is kind of dry. Um, I don't know, maybe I didn't have the right brush. I felt like it was kind of really dry. I don't know, we'll see. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's definitely better than the last time I used it. So I'm wondering if maybe I did just not have the lid on right and it was starting to dry out, but it got better since I've been making sure to like close the lid all the way. 
lid is just so hard to put on. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now that we've done that, I don't have a brow setting gel, you guys. So that will not be wet and wild, nor will my lip liner, but everything else will be. Oh, and lashes, lashes will not be wet and wild. So I don't like their little photo focus concealer, but I always remember Kathleen Lights talking about this concealer right here. And I have mine in the shade Posing Nude. And this just said, this lightweight liquid pen gives you ultimate control in, to instantly lift your features for a flawless complexion. So this is just called, what is this called? Highlighting and Concealing Pen. And I saw it, Illuminati, that's funny. It says Illuminati. <laughs> that's funny. So yeah, I have mine in the shade Posing Nude. Okay, so this is just what I'm gonna be, this is what I'm gonna be, this is what I'm gonna use to prime my lids. You do twist it to get it out. Okay, and it's up. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of that on our lids. I hope that this is light enough for highlighting and concealing. It's the only thing I hate about having to shop online, and this you can really only find online. And I was like, oh, okay, don't have a choice. So yeah, and then obviously taking my e.l.f. beauty sponge and so it doesn't look like it has much coverage. It did a little something something, but it doesn't have a ton of coverage. It did even out the skin tone on my eyelids. They don't look so dark and there's definitely a glow to it. So what we're going to go in with today, I really need to grab some of this. Anybody else like these stickers that Wet n Wild puts on their stuff are like freaking bulletproof? It's always breaking off like into pieces. Okay, so I was gonna get their Walking on Eggshells eyeshadow palette and that's like $2.97, three bucks. And then I was like, well, for like a dollar and some change more, dollars and change, two dollars more, I could just get this palette and it's essentially almost like the same thing. And that is like the nude, that is like, and it's the nude awakening palette. So I am gonna use this palette today. Like I was said in my last video, where I was trying out, just doing a chit chat, get ready, me, get ready with me, trying out some new makeup. I was saying that like, I've been really drawn to like cool tones. And this actually has a lot of cool tones. So I'm just like, and even though that this is like a darker shade, I feel like it's more cool and warm. So we are gonna go ahead and play with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this cream shade right here and just go ahead and set our eyelids down with that. Wet n Wild has such good eyeshadows. Like, look at that. They're so good. Put it all the way up to our brow bone. And then obviously do the same thing to the other eye. So that's it for that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this transition shade right here and I'm just gonna start buffing that into my crease. So sound quality might have changed because I forgot to hook up my microphone, but now it is hooked up. So sorry if it got really loud, sorry if it got really quiet all of a sudden, um, or if the quality is just better, you're welcome. <laughs> so the next thing I wanna do with that same, uh, actually no, not the same brush. Not the same brush. We're going to take this one right here. I'm gonna take this transition shade on this side and start going a little bit more precise and really start adding some definition to my crease. Okay, going back in with that first brush, we're just gonna go ahead and blend out that harsh line. We would still want everything to be very blended even though we are adding definition into our crease. I'm not really liking that brush, so I'm going to switch to this Farrah brush and this is their mini tapered blending brush. Same color, that kind of ashy brown tone. One thing you should know with eyeshadows, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't matter how much they cost, but it's the tools that you use. And that's not saying that you have to have expensive brushes, but just good brushes. Because sometimes you use cheap brushes or just brushes that aren't of a good quality. Like I said, it doesn't mean they have to be expensive, but brushes that aren't of a good quality and they tend to skip on your eyes or don't apply, don't apply the color as pigmented. 
And sometimes we can blame that on the palette and it's not even the palette's fault, it's the brush's fault. Okay, so everything's just looking a little bit gray. So what I want to do, okay, so we'll take this brush right here and I'm going to take this maroon shade right here and kind of put that on my outer corner and blend it a little bit in towards the inner corner just to add some color because everything's looking just a little bit gray. This one is looking a little bit weird right there and it didn't happen on this eye. So we're gonna just try to blend that out a little bit more in the crease. This shade right here, and I'm going to apply that here this way. First, we're gonna try to apply it dry, see what we get, and then if need be, we'll wet it. Okay, definitely wanna wet it, but just to even out the sides. I didn't feel like cutting my crease just because I felt like that concealer is a little bit too dewy to cut your crease with on your eyelid. And I really wanna to stick to as many Wet n Wild products as possible. So I didn't wanna cut my crease. Okay, we're gonna wet it. And go back in. There we go. Got a little something, something. Okay, now just to add a little brightness to it, I'm gonna take this one closer to my inner corner. Just taking more of that maroon shade and just blending that edge out so it don't look so harsh. So for mascara, I have this, what is it called? Mega Slim Skinny Mascara, and I got the waterproof version because I don't apply a lot of mascara to my top lashes because I always apply falsies, but I noticed that my bottom lash line is like always running from my mascara. So I wondered if maybe a waterproof would be best for me. Like even though my eyes don't water, it always runs. So I don't know what is causing that. So just thought I'd try a waterproof mascara because I don't own any. And I think I've heard good things about this skinny mascara. Alrighty, so let's curl our top lashes. Ooh, it's a super skinny one. So we'll just go ahead and start working on them lashes. This one already seems more promising than the one I used last time. She did next to nothing for me. Wow, I like this mascara. I like this one a lot. So you guys, I really like this mascara. This mascara is definitely something that I would use like where I do really, really light makeup and it would look really pretty. Like I did not want to stop applying this. Like it just looks so pretty. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and posh, pop on my Kiss 01 lashes and then I will be right back. <sighs> okay, lashes are on you guys. These Kiss 01 lashes give me all the life. So now what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and shake this up. I haven't used it in a while. Photo Focus, and this is the original foundation in golden beige. This is not the dewy one. This is not my favorite one. I just haven't used this in a while. And that is all I'm going to apply because one thing I do remember about this foundation is that it can get a little bit cakey on me. I don't know about on everybody, but on me, it can get a little bit cakey. And I have that one in the shade golden beige. The shade different. There is a shade difference, like slightly between the dewy and the original one, just because um, I just wanted to give you guys a head up. Because like in the original, in the dewy one, I'm cream beige, I believe. And in this one, I'm golden beige. Okay, so I am going to add just a little bit more because I see a lot of stuff still poking through. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do before it starts to look a little wonky on my skin. And now we are gonna go back in with this concealer and just start applying this and it's already leaking into the cap. <laughs> so I could have gone a shade lighter, at least I think so. It's a little bit messy. It's like once you twist it up, like it don't really wanna stop when you stop. Kinda keeps coming out. Ooh, now to blend this in. Sponge is getting kind of dry. It's been here for a while. Lightened up a little bit as I put it on the skin. Or blended it out, I mean. It's actually really pretty. Now I accidentally applied foundation right there. So, better fix it. That is actually really pretty on the skin. Like, I really like this concealer. It's looking really, really pretty on the skin. It's a lot better for my skin type than their Photo Focus concealer. I mean, it's not the most coverage, but I mean, we can see if we can build it up just a little bit. Just right there. Oh yeah, this is definitely buildable. It looks really pretty on your skin. So, Wet n Wild does have a good foundation, foundation, good concealer in their line. So the next thing I'm gonna take is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Loose Setting Powder. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go in with it. This is gonna darken me up just a smidge, so I'm not gonna use the most. Even though it looks like I used a ton. Just, I don't know. I don't think I'm a fan of this powder. Like with certain foundations, it's good. And then sometimes it wants to act crazy and make your face 10 times darker. And sometimes it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But you know what? We could fix the darkness. And I shouldn't have even added that powder under my eyes, honestly. Okay, but other than like the powder darkening up underneath my eyes just a little bit, thank goodness for setting spray because I am looking a little bit powdery, but it's not terrible. Like my skin doesn't look terribly dry. So we are going to go ahead and go in and finish up the lower lash line. So I'm honestly just going to take this maroon shade and just buff it across my lower lash line and then apply mascara. Okay, so now that that is done, you guys, I love that mascara. Next thing we're gonna do is go in with a bronzer. And I didn't buy that little stupid bronzer I got last time. <laughs> oh, shimmery thing. It's more like a highlight for very beautiful, deeper skin tones. Not a bronzer. All right, so this is gonna give me HE double hockey sticks to open. All right, so I had this bronzer a long time ago and I loved it, but it just kept breaking and breaking and breaking because my boys wouldn't stop getting into my makeup. But this is their Mega Go Contouring Palette and this one is in Dulce de Leche. And so, yeah, what I'm gonna do first, oh, I'm trying to open this without messaging up anything. <laughs> then I'm messing up my nail. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this white powder and go underneath my eyes, just so that way it's not so dark. Oh, there we go. My under eyes are looking a little bit crepey and I think it's from that loose powder. Now I'm gonna go in with the bronzer shade and I am going to go in with their bronzer brush and I'm gonna take very little because if I remember, this is very pigmented. I'm just gonna start getting the usual spots. Okay, so next thing, I'm going to take their blush in the, say, in the shade Pinch Me Pink, and that's just what that looks like. And since I don't have a really small blush brush, I'm going to go in with their powder brush. I meant to use their eye brushes and completely forgot. <laughs> and we're just gonna apply that. This looks a little bit glittery. Can't tell if it's getting on my brush because the tip is pink. has a glow to it. You can't tell right off the bat. That's exactly why I didn't go with pearlescent pink. Cause I was like, I don't, I got rid of that blush for that reason. Cause I don't want the glow 
And this one didn't look as glowy in the package. Like it looked a little bit more matte than pearlescent pink and it's doing basically the same thing, which is annoying. Okay, so yeah, I'm not mad at the blush, but like I said, I didn't want something that had like so much glow to it. I like my blushes to be just a little bit more matte. Okay, so for highlight, I hear people rave about this all the time, and this is their loose highlighting powder, and I'm so lit. And I was like, you know what? Let me just try it out because people are always talking about it. So why not? This is so cute. It has little stars in there. I'm just gonna shake a little bit out. Very little, that's all I shook out. And we're gonna go ahead, oh, and... Y'all. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips because that product is not what I want. Okay, so we're having an eyelash malfunction right now, so don't worry about it. But the lipstick I'm going to go in with is their Mega Last Matte Lipstick. And I have mine in the shade Bare It All. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in, like, obviously, like, everything with this. <laughs> okay, so I have two different things of their lip glosses here so i have one in caught you bare nude so it's like super nude and then i have one in send nudes and then you can actually you can actually really tell the difference between the two so i'm gonna just go ahead and use both of them i'm gonna go all over my lips with this one and then just apply this one in the center so i'm gonna go all over my lips with the darker one and then apply the lighter one just in the center of my lips Sorry, you guys, I have to do this. Like, I just can't not do it. It's just like embedded in me, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over my my face, but I am gonna put my elf spray on my sponge until Wet and Wild comes out with a bomb dewy mist. My elf one is where it's at. And I just need it because my skin looking a little bit dry. I'm starting to feel sick, I need to eat. Okay, you guys, so. This is a completed makeup look that we came out with, you guys. I love their eyeshadows and this specific bronzer and powder. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because it's just a little bit too dry for me. And you can see like I'm starting to kick up. That's what I meant about this foundation. Their original foundation, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. It's just a little bit too dry for me, a little bit too cakey for my skin type. I love these for whatever reason, my skin is burning and it was itching and I'm positive that it was this. So I'm gonna have to give this away as well and just see, I don't I don't know. Like that's the only it irritated, I thought it irritated my skin last time. This time my skin was went a little funny. So I'm pretty sure it's that. You guys know that I love this. I love their lip products. This mascara really, really, really su surprised me. I love it. I recommend it. It's it's really, really good. The blush, like I said, if you're into more glowy blush, try this out. It will fool you. It looks more matte in the packaging than it actually is once you apply it on your skin. I'm going to keep playing with this concealer, but I already know that I don't really like the packaging just because you see how it's still seeping out even though I'm not using it and I haven't used it for a while now and it's still seeping out so I don't like that I feel like it's gonna be really messy every single time that I want to use it so I'm not a fan of that and I like their brow things this felt a little bit more creamier than the very last time I used it so I'm gonna keep go ahead and keep this keep playing with it I love their brow pencil and their highlighters you guys they're, they never go wrong with their highlighters. This one is a little bit more expensive than the ones like the pressed powders. So if you're on a budget, just grab the pressed powders because they do have the same effect. They're all super blinding and super highlighty. So yeah, if there was two things that I was going to tell you like that you have, like that you just should really try out, it's going to be their primer serum and their mascara, you guys like. 
this mascara really surprised me and I think it was on like three or four bucks. So yeah, I do say go ahead and try this out. <sighs> I loved it. This is way better than what it came out to be last time. So if you guys have any other video suggestions, go ahead and leave that down in the comment box. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.